Hello to all of you. Today I have a new invention to show you. As you probably remember, last time we were in the parking lot at Metro and I was showing you my invention to make sure that we always stay two meters away from other people. And it was working very well. Well, I have a new invention for you today using my EV3 bricks and two ultrasonic sensors. Uh, and it's programmed in Python and I'll show you the code. So this is how it works. I have my two ultrasonic sensors uh, plugged in into my brick and they are constantly looking for the distance, making sure that nothing appears within 100 millimeters. Why do we have that? Well, Dr. Tam and Mr. Trudeau constantly repeat that we should not touch our face. Don't touch your face, they keep repeating that. And if you look at research, people usually touch their face 26 times per hour. That's a lot. Uh, and we don't even realize it, it's just human nature. So what this invention will do, it's located near your face, so it will intercept your hands and your arms if you're trying to touch your face. And then it will uh, produce a little beep and will remind you in both official languages that you're touching your face. So let me show you. I've got my two ultrasonic sensor, my hand. <laughs> Don't touch your face. And if I do it with the other hand, it will also it will, touch your face. it will also detect that I was trying to touch my face. So it's a very useful invention. Uh, now let me show you the code. Uh, in Python, we do need to import libraries and we do need three uh, classes to import here. The EV3 brick, obviously, the ultrasonic sensor, and I'm also importing ports. Uh, because I do need to plug those ultrasonic sensor on ports. Then I initialize my brick, and then I will also initialize my two ultrasonic sensors, one on port S1 and the other one on port S2. The rest of the program is actually quite simple. It's a loop uh, that will happen forever until you stop your program. Uh, and the loop will then uh, calculate the distance in front of each of the ultrasonic sensor. If the distance is less than 100 millimeters, then it will uh, produce a beep and say the uh, message in both of official languages. So you have the code on the screen if you want to do it yourself at home. Now, I have to admit, this device will not let you know if you're speaking moistly. And Prime Minister Trudeau did mention uh, a couple of days ago that we have to be very careful because when we're speaking moistly, we're actually transmitting the disease. If we have that uh, virus inside of us, we're actually transmitting it. Uh, so I am working on an invention because this one doesn't do it. Uh, it's coming soon. I'll let you know when it's available. Keep checking my uh, Facebook channel and my YouTube channel. Uh, but the device will be using a, a humidity sensor plugged in into an Arduino so we can test uh, if we're speaking moistly. So this is coming up soon. Thank you very much and see you later.